Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of the day it is that you're watching this video. First of all, I'd like to say I'm happy that you have stopped and taken just a few moments of your time. Uh, I believe with 100% faith that when you stop and look at these videos, this is part of Jesus Christ drawing you to His Word. So welcome back to another Testimony Tuesday. I think we may have missed a couple. We want to get back on track. God has a plan, and sometimes in, in His plan, all things work perfect. You did get that, right? Sometimes in His plan, all things work perfect. Now, let me say that the correct way. Always in His plan, things work perfect. But when we decide to do things, it becomes messed up, stirred up, mixed up, whatever you want to phrase you want to use there. But I want to read this scripture quickly and get into the Word. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have got overcome the world. This is Jesus speaking from John 16 and 33. Again, let's, let's read this verse one more time. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Uh, as I'm recording this, we will be past the Easter weekend, past, uh, I don't really like to use the term Easter, but it's what everybody knows. It's the weekend where Christ died on the cross and was resurrected that we might have overcoming life. Uh, as in my personal life, there's been some struggles and things going on as we all go through from time to time. So this verse was so fitting as like a testimony for my life in particular. So here's what I'd like to say to you quickly today. I, I want to say to you that no matter what's going on in your life, remember this verse. He said, He overcame the world. His peace is great. The world's going to give us trouble. So He overcame the world. That is the one thing I want you to stick out to you. That we might be able to overcome the world, not of our own, but through Him because He already did it. That began on the cross for us. That began on the cross when He gave up His life freely. They laid Him in a tomb, and three days later when they came back, He was gone. He was risen. Praise God. And I still, I, I love this time of the year because it brings us back to that. It brings our attention more on that focus, and we need to make sure we keep that, that focus on His resurrection throughout the year. Look forward to it from from this past weekend up to the next time we celebrate this because He gives us the daily provision to be overcomers. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? He gives us the daily provision to be overcomers. I get excited thinking about Christ Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. And so as I've had this opportunity to take these few moments to talk to you about the living word, the scripture, that word I wrote, read, John 16, 33. Um, here, let's just, I want to go back to the King James Version. I know a lot of people don't quite understand, but I, I want to read that version. And thank God for these phones. They are quick and, and accurate and being able to look things up. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. I love that word tribulation. It emphasizes the struggle and the trouble that we will have. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be happy. Be satisfied. Be content. I have overcome the world. Wow. Wow. I have overcome the world. When he said he overcame the world, what a door was open to us. We are here now, living, breathing, because of him. I've read the Bible a few times. I never once read where it would be easy on us in this walk. 
I just read that scripture to you. We will have tribulation in this world. The world will bring us struggle and trouble. We're seeing it now. It's chaotic. Thank God we serve a Christ who has overcome the world. Praise God. So as I prepare to shut down this message today, I want to thank you for staying with me if you've stayed with me this long, for listening. And I hope you heard well. I love you. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior and you're going through something right now, you can overcome that because He overcome the world. You can have peace in the chaos, the trouble, the tribulation of this world because He overcome the world. I want that emphasized. I want you remembering today after you uh, put down your phone and go by, I, I'm hoping the word overcome sticks out with you and that you carry it with you knowing that Christ Jesus overcome the world and it allows you to be an overcomer as well. Go over to Romans. I think it may be, I'm not going to even try to say the scripture, but you, we all know it. We are more than conquerors. He gave us that ability to do so in that sense. We, the Spirit just has hit me. We have overcome the world. We have overcome the world by and only through Christ Jesus as a Christian, as a servant, as His follower, however you want to say it today. We have overcome the world. Believe it in that. Believe it. Have faith. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video again. 2271 Altry Mill Road, Godwin, Shiloh PH Church, where we're looking for one more. And, and, and friend, I encourage you today, if you've not given your heart to Jesus, He overcame the world so that you can overcome. Give your heart to Jesus. Receive that gift of salvation and watch His mercy and grace just work out things in your life. I love you. God loves you more. Christ loves you more. Amen. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.